What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Don. We're back with another video, man. RJ freaking Barrett called game today. RJ Barrett hit a game winner. That's the first I've ever seen of him doing that in the Knicks uniform. You know, this is the only team he's new since he's been in the NBA. It's um, it that was special. You know, it's really special to see something like that for him. He deserves it. You know, he's been playing better. You know, and I know I, I give him a lot of stick, R.J. Baird, but, you know, he's uh, a frustrating guy to analyze when you look at his overall game. But I think most most of us agree that he has hidden talent somewhere. But it, we're, we're, you're trying to bring it out of him all the time. That, that's the problem you, that you have with him right now. Um, as you can see, first round draft pick, third overall in 2019. Um, let me start by saying, um, let's not get too high here. <clears throat> it, it, it's easy to look at this game and say, oh my God, Roger Barry is going to be amazing. It was important though, because I think a shot like that will always help your confidence. But today, what I really want to look at is I wanted to analyze RJ Barrett's contract. And why do I want to analyze RJ Barrett's contract? Because he's always up and down, up and down, up and down. And I thought now, having experienced something like this where he hits a game winner, like, you know, like if we look to the future, right, and you looked at what you thought RJ was worth, let me sit up for it because it's better. If you, if, you, if you had an idea of what you thought he was worth, and let me get my phone here too because we're going to do some actual math. Um, if you look at his contract, right, signed in 1927 million, which is about the, the base, right? The rookie, rookie salary. It goes up to eight mil. Now he's at eight, you know, 8.6, you know, it, that's not bad. And then the important part for me is next year. Next year, when you're looking at 2022, 2023, now he starts to make in 10 million range. So it goes up by two from the previous year about. And then after next season, you know what I'm saying? You have to consider signing RJ Barry. So the question is, where do you value him? And 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 if you're going to re-sign RJ Barrett, you're probably looking at signing him for another four years, right? You're looking at signing him for another four years. So then the question is, is what would you pay him? What would you what would you pay a guy like RJ Barry? Let's say he has a, a, a pretty solid season, right? Uh, and we were having this debate earlier um, in the chat when he hit the game winner tonight because um, everybody was going crazy and we started talking about that. And I said that I can't see RJ being more between the 10 million and 15 million range. You know what I'm saying? Um, just because of overall, if I if I did the math, let's say he got 15 million, you know, over um, four years. You know, that's already... 60 million dollar range that's not bad you know that's not bad i think that's that's reasonable i think it was um uh i think it was b sim that was talking maybe 18 million a year i don't know about that you know and 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 the reason i say that not not to say that i think you're wrong b sim no no i don't it's possible but you have to pay based off of performance usually from the last year so if rj barrett has a decent look if rj barrett has the season he had last year and adds a little bit more to his game as far as the inside game go it's possible it's absolutely possible because if he does that consistently the guy's going to be a very good player but the problem is the problem is um his consistency like I don't know how you can rank R.J. Barrett based off of skill. Okay, so then let's do this. For the skills that we know R.J. has, above average defender, right? Um, he can shoot the three when confident, right? He can slash. He's getting better at slashing, I must say. You know, I'm not going to lie. He's, he's getting a little bit better at that. But for his top, top skills, I would say his shooting um, his defense, you know, uh, is, is definitely, I think, his strongest asset right now. You know, just being able to hit a jumper um, from three. Um, everything else is still a work in progress. I, I'm not going to lie on this video and, and pretend like he, 
already has an inside game. No, he does not have that yet. Um, he's a solid, he's a good defender, a decent defender, just not a good one yet. Um, and the reality of the situation is, is that I don't have much solid to go by for RJ Barrett for me to say that I know what he's going to be by the end of next year. But if the trajectory keeps going up from what we see, then maybe he does become the slasher that we want him to be, you know, because I think it's easier to talk about his struggles because we've witnessed many a game, many more games of struggles than we have of success, especially this season. Um, it is, it is, it's hard for RJ sometimes to get to the line, even though he's getting better at that. It's hard for him to just draw fouls, period. You know, sometimes he struggles with that. But I think he's learning. Uh, he made a great move today, actually, uh, when um, he got the ball, Randall passed on the ball, RJ dribbled it out, and then decided to attack the hoop again, but then did a spin move. And when he did a spin move, in the spin move, he got fouled. I was like, you know what? I don't think he would have made that shot, but his decision in that situation was actually good. And I think that will help RJ's decision-making, trusting him to decide where he wants to go with the ball and giving him the room to do it. You know, because if you can add getting to the hoop to his game, now you have a very dynamic team where guys aren't necessarily relying on jumpers all the time. You can't have jumpers all the time. You need to be able to mix up your game. So I think for RJ Barrett, even though he's shown he can hit the three, if he can get a, if he can get a consistent uh, 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 move to the hoop that gets him to draw fouls, he'd be so much better, you know. And at, at I believe he's 20, 21 years old, you know, 22 years old. How old is he? Yeah, he's 21. At 21 years old, you know, there's room for development, but he has to be given the room to develop, you know? So that's why I think, ultimately, 50, $16 million is not bad. So if you talk of $15 million a year, um, based off of the trajectory that I think he will be, he'll probably get around there, and then with him being one of the main guys on this team, you continue to build on. You know, it, it could be scary. He could become very scary. RJ Barrett, he can become very scary if he keeps it up, you know. But there's always a but. We can't get too high on what we've seen today. Um, the games go fast. In fact, the games go so fast that we play Boston again this weekend, you know. And they're looking for revenge. And the the one thing I will say about the Knicks, which I will make another video on this, is that we need to find the ways to, to to consistently spread the points around the team. You know, I don't understand how Fournier can have 40 and then zero the game of four. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Um, Julius Randle just about had 20, but then he didn't really score in the first half, you know? And RJ didn't really score a lot, but he hit the game winner. It's crazy. It's crazy. Consistency all around is what we definitely need. Um, but uh, RJ Barrett has a lot to improve upon, but there's this hidden talent that... We are trying to peel one by one by one, game by game, year by year. And hopefully by the end of next season, you have something solid where you can say, you know what? Yeah, we can go with that. I can't see him making more than $15 million, though. And that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, you're going to 12 maybe. I don't think you can get him less than 10 Because even if you did 10 times 4, you're looking at like what? You're looking at... It's it's about forty, right? Forty mil. Would he accept that? I don't know if he would accept that. Um, but I think his play will have to do with that. Given his age at the time, he will be twenty four, prime age for basketball. You know, very durable guy. He doesn't really get hurt like that. Forty million might be a little bit too low. So that's why I say you get him in the twelve range. Get him in the twelve. If you get him in the twelve, now you're looking at. 48, 48, maybe, I, I, I think 15, 15 is solid, man, 15 is not bad, 15 is okay, 15 is about his value, we can come back to this video when it happens, but I think he'll get around there, you know, and then at that point, you got to try and definitely build with him in mind, I don't know where Randall will be at that time, but if Randall will still be here, but I think RJ definitely will be, Randall is, is a head case sometimes. And we got to make a video on him because he, he was doing a little bit of a thumbs up saying STFU to the crowd. We got to talk about that, man. What's wrong with that, man? But uh, no, I'm just playing. But definitely, I, I think $15 million for RJ Baird, based on the trajectory, is okay. Uh, but he needs to improve. He has stuff to improve upon RJ. 
And he needs to do it next year. By next year, there needs to be solid evidence of what he is. If there's not, I think 80% sure the Knicks stay with him regardless of what happens, unless he has a disaster season, uh, which is not in his nature or personality. But I do think that he still needs to improve to solidify himself on this team. But that's your boy Don talking, man. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy these videos, man. And that's your boy Don. I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace, I'm out.